Welcome back to Creating With Mimi. Today's video is all about what I wore this week. And today's topic is going to be about shorts. Dressing them up, dressing them down, what type of shorts that we can wear so that we're looking our best for this summer. Let's get to it. Before we get started with the video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to you guys and I'm so grateful for the response that I'm getting from the videos that you've watched these past three weeks and I really appreciate the comments that you guys are leaving, the subscriptions, the subs. Um, I'm excited about sharing with you guys and when you leave a comment, it does help me in terms of what type of content should I be showing you guys and that you want to see. It's all about helping and creating an environment that is living your best life. So thank you so much and I appreciate it. Tip number one is size, guys. Sometimes we need to size up in our shorts just to make sure that they actually look good. Just because we can zip up a pair of jeans or shorts doesn't mean that we should be wearing them. So keep that in mind when you're wearing short shorts that size is very important. This first look is with the denim shorts and the raw hem. I'm pairing it with just a basic white v-neck tee from Zara's and I'm wearing wedges to this. With this look, I'm actually placing a uh, fuchsia jacket on with the um, raw edge shorts. Love this look because it's kind of edgy, it's kind of uh, chic, but at the same time, it is um, tapered. The jacket is tapered, the pink is the perfect color pink. It's a Zara jacket, I'll see if it's still available. I'm rolling up the sleeves and I've actually um, paired it with sandals. Now, when I am wearing heels with shorts, I like to keep the heel between a three, no more than a four inch heel, so that it doesn't look like I'm trying too hard. Uh, and it's just a comfortable um, fit for if you're walking all day. Right now, I've paired it with that brown Gucci purse and it just gives it a different punch. Uh, adding to the overall uh, style. This blazer is from And Other Stories and it is a linen blazer, love it. I love the button detail, it's oversized. It has actual pockets that function. I tend to roll up my sleeves, guys, and keep them rolled up uh, anytime that I'm wearing a jacket. What I love about this look is this purse. This is an Amazon purse that I purchased. I will leave the description uh, in the box. It is the cutest purse I think that I've purchased this year. Um, so again, I'm wearing these Amazon wedges with this look and it's just enough height. These Amazon wedges are amazing. I purchased three different pair. Love, love, love the fact that I could have height I'm comfortable, I can wear the shoe all day, and I'm gonna introduce you to all three different styles and pairs, but this particular one is has more of a leather or wrapped around the foot. The heel is comfortable, and it's an in-between color between a wheat and a light beige. Next up is this blush pink long blazer. Love, love, love this. It has the slits in the side. So what I decided to do was pair it with this Zara skirt. So it's a skirt, but it's uh, shorts and it's made to look like a skirt. I guess that's the best way to describe what a skirt is. But I'm wearing this with sandals. Again, the heel is only about maybe two to three inches. The jacket is a one button jacket. I don't have a shirt underneath and I thought it dresses it up and gives it a little bit of sex appeal. So obviously I like to add a little punch of color with the purse. So right now I've got the beige. It has green and 
Then if you want a second option, I'm gonna have it all pink with the Gucci Fi pink purse, which is really a cute option as well. Love, love, love these white linen shorts uh, from Aritzia. And they are just, it's kind of a Bermuda short. It's a soft linen type fabric. I'm pairing it with a tan belt and we've got those Amazon wedges. Dressing it up a bit, I'm throwing on this tan Zara double-breasted oversized jacket. It just looks amazing, this color contrast and the play on color in terms of the beige and the taupe color. Guys, this purse is an Amazon find as well. It is so cute. It is unexpected. Um, it is just simply gorgeous. It just adds a little bit more to every outfit. I will leave the um, link in the description box for you guys to pick up. Really, really cute. I've added the brown purse, the second pair of Amazon wedges, and these are so cute. They have the little ankle strap. And then I just added on a pair of Gucci shades. Shades will elevate any outfit um, and it just makes it look a lot more chic. Not to mention the fact that you have protection on your eyes from the sun throughout the day. And this is a completely comfortable look. Next look are these high-waisted Zara linen shorts. This is such a great find, guys. Um, I love the pleats in the front. They're high-waisted, so they snatch on your waist area and will give you some accentuation there. Absolutely love this. I'm pairing it now with the beige um, and of the stories jacket and this cute purse, my new best friend from Amazon. I'm not sure which one I like the most, whether it's this one or the round one that you'll see with some of these looks. Um, but back to the look again, um, absolutely love this in terms of the shorts and where it actually hits on the leg line. They're completely comfortable and it's a mature looking short. Switching it up with the same Zara shorts, but they are black. And everybody knows that black is an essential color. If you're trying to elevate a style, black is a great color to do that with. Adding on a black blazer, and the blazer is a mid-thigh length as well. Switching it up with the black uh, strappy sandals. Again, the heel is no more than three inches a pair of shades, and then this Gucci purse with a hint of the gold. Absolutely fabulous. Switching up the jacket to the beige with the taupey undershirt and the black shorts, and I also switched up the shoes to um, the lighter bone color Amazon sandals, and it just gives it a different element um, so that it's not too overstated and it's more of a daytime casual look. Adding the brown purse with that makes it, just gives it that element of texture and it's a small handbag and it's just the uh, right size bag love 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 these shorts can't say enough about them because of the high waisted they actually show curvature which is great changing up this look just a little bit by adding the scarf uh, it was such a dress down comfy look before now if I want to go to brunch and dress it up just a little bit more you can always add a hat I'm adding this Gucci scarf and it's brown it just works really well with the brown purse that I was carrying with this look and the combination is great.
same outfit switching to the sneakers and i thought a white sneaker would look really good with this keeping in mind texture and mixing up the colors Because I switched the shoes and now it's a flat, it's always a good idea to have at least one statement piece. And right now I'm utilizing this Louis Vuitton Forever bag um, as the statement piece because it's a little bit more sizable and um, it's more for the comfy, just throw anything in type look. And that's what I'm going for. So I did increase the size of the bag. If you like this video guys, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that way you'll get notified each time a new upload comes up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of those that are following and make every day a great day.